I'm Professor Andy Smith and I've directed the project on seafarers fatigue since 2000 and this research has been carried out by members of the Centre for Occupational and Health Psychology and colleagues from the Seafarers International Research Centre. Fatigue has to be studied using many different techniques. At one extreme, um, one uses questionnaires to get uh, subjective responses about uh, fatigue. And then one also needs to use objective measurements, either measures of uh, uh, attention or speed of reactions, and uh, also physiological measurements to see to what extent uh, the fatigue's influencing the person's physiology. It sounds very easy to measure fatigue, but this is because a lot of the research up to now has been done in controlled laboratory settings, and um, although it's possible to take these out into the field, uh, there are a number of practical problems. Uh, there's the problem, of course, of um, the conditions on board uh, ship, and uh, when one can actually uh, take measurements, and we have to get around this quite often by measuring before and after people work rather than during their work. There are also um, technological issues. How does one go about measuring things that can influence uh, sleep, such as motion or noise? And um, also then the measurement of physiology has uh, methodological issues. Uh, we use cortisol measures from saliva, and these can be influenced by many things, as well as fatigue. Cortisol uh, can be measured uh, from uh, saliva and um, it gives a good indication of the physiological processes that are influenced by fatigue and um, is independent of uh, subjective feelings of it. So here we have a technique that's relatively easy to use, it just requires um, the uh, volunteers providing a saliva sample, usually uh, early in the morning and then later in the day because cortisol changes as a function of time of day and then we can compare this in fatigued and non-fatigued individuals to see to what extent uh, the cortisol changes. There's a long history of laboratory research that allows us to know which measures of performance are influenced by fatigue. So for example, in the laboratory, volunteers have been sleep deprived and then uh, their performance examined. The two major ones are, first of all, lapses of attention. So when people are fatigued, most of the time, pretty good at performing, but occasionally they have lapses in their performance, very long uh, occasional reaction times, which um, may be related to errors in real life performance. The second most common type of performance is just their basic reaction time, uh, how quickly they can uh, respond to uh, stimuli where they don't know exactly when they're going to occur. And again, it's been shown that these are slower in individuals who are fatigued. This can either be measured subjectively using uh, standard uh, questionnaires, or it can even be measured objectively using what are called active watches. These watches measure the amount of movement um, when people are sleeping. So if someone's having a bad night's sleep, they'll move about a great deal, which will suggest that they're awake for quite a large part of their sleep time and uh, therefore we can get a good indication of uh, both uh, quality and duration of sleep using these instruments. There are several environmental factors which can influence fatigue. Uh, probably the two most important are the noise levels um, which can make a person fatigued uh, if they occur while they're working and also can interfere with their sleep. And we examine this using what are called dosimeters, which give a good indication of the noise level people are exposed to. Second big influence on fatigue is motion. 
and uh, we were able to use a motion recorder to look at uh, the amount of motion that occurred during the voyages and again this is shown to be an important factor with regards to fatigue. One of the um, easiest ways to assess fatigue is by carrying out questionnaire surveys and we've developed some standardised measures for doing this. In addition, these questionnaires can now be uh, based on the web and so this makes the whole process uh, a lot easier and a lot more rapid. Fatigue at sea must be measured using multiple approaches and um, to some extent what you choose in any particular piece of research may well be uh, influenced by practical considerations but we now have the technology to look at fatigue in many different ways and to see whether using these different outcomes uh, one comes up with similar answers.